King's Quest VI is widely considered to be the best installment of the series, but really people only say that because King's Quest VI is the best game ever made. But if we're limiting our discussion to the context of the series, one of the reasons it's the best is that it strikes up the best balance of perfecting everything that made the series great while minimizing the things that made it frustrating. But it's not devoid of frustrations, and for me, most of those frustrations come from... The Labyrinth. Yes, The Labyrinth. Sure, the trapdoors are annoying, but easily avoidable once you know where they are. No, the real frustrating deaths come from puzzles that you need a specific inventory item to solve, and you don't have that item. And if you don't know what item you're supposed to have, you might not even know that you don't have the right item. And to the game's credit, it tries to give you a chance to avoid this. If you don't have all the items you need for the labyrinth when you're first sent, they let you leave to prepare and come back later. But with no indication of what you need, you still might come back shorthanded and not realize it until you're already six saved games deep. Intruder. Just in time for dinner. Let's not be hasty now. Oof! Ah, wandering through a seemingly endless catacomb with no hope for escape. It's like the Indiana Jones adventure queue during spring break. Except then you can at least sing with your friends. So you think you can stone me and spit in my eyes? <laughs> so you think you can love me and leave me to die?